Hi everybody, and welcome to the season finale of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. Today's movie is a fun one, and it came to me in a box set about a year ago. So this is it, here we go. Let's see what it is. We'll just rip into it. All right, who am I being? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Anybody want nails? Anybody want nails? You tell me who I am. So after ripping the package open the way Karen does from Love Actually, I pulled out the DVDs. But it wasn't like the average box set. It came in little CD cases. This is the box set. This is the Giuseppe Andrews box set. It, it doesn't come in... It doesn't come like a box set, you know? It comes in little CDs and I am not complaining whatsoever. We've already done one of the movies here on the show, but there were two other ones that I have left on the dust to collect shelves. I am very, very extra backwards today. So, movie the what's? Air conditioning. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Air conditioning. Now, I knew nothing about this movie when I got it. I got the box set for In Our Garden, and this came with it. I hadn't seen the trailer. It's not on IMDb. I'd never even heard of it. Really, really excited about just all of it. So, with that said, play movie. Starting. It's starting. Remember how In Our Garden started off by saying, In Our Garden, a novel by Giuseppe Andrews. Well, this one has a little label as well. It's not just a movie, but it's film number two in the Italian title trilogy. Aria Condizonata, and then it said air conditioning. A Giuseppe Andrews film. Waldongo! So air conditioning begins with our main character, Latuga Icebrook, getting out of bed and walking around her very small apartment. There's a woman waking up. She's great already. She's wonderful. 30 seconds on the screen and I already loved this woman. And she gets better and better and better as the movie goes on. She is thoroughly good throughout. This is a great opening. This depressed, heavyset woman walking around her apartment. Now she took out a poncho, is the word I was looking for. It's zooming up to the lady and she's putting on the poncho. She puts this poncho on with so much guilt and shame as if she hates wearing it. And then she walks into the kitchen. And I have to say she looked so funny in this stupid looking poncho. She just sat down in a chair and picked up a machine gun. Which of course is a toy, but it's supposed to be real. So this woman, Latuga, is a homeless people hunter hired by her ex-husband to shoot all the homeless people who loiter outside of his fancy suit store. She hates this job and she cries while doing it, but she needs the money to support her and her son. Her son's name is Puzo and he's constantly playing with this little toy grill. He's got these toys on a little grill. She says, I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna do it right now, so I need you to go back in your closet and go play with your barbecue toy so you don't hear the bullets. Not the gunshots, but the bullets. His writing is just so good. The world wants a shovel into a funeral home fire. I gotta remember that every time I put on this poncho and put my Indian war hands on this gun. She tells him that she has more work to do and she just opened up the window in her poncho. There's a guy standing there next to a garbage can. She's taken out her gun and pointed out the window. She starts firing at this guy, crying, making this ridiculous face, and he's running off with his garbage can. The guy gets away and he hides in an alley where he takes off the lid to his garbage can. And inside is his deformed brother named DeFetto, who has a foot for a hand. You'd think that uh, in this part of town with the fine suit stores and all that crap, you'd be free of uh, gunfire. 
We find out that this man's objective in life is to find a rich woman who has air conditioning. That way he and his brother can move in with her and the air conditioner. Meanwhile, back at Latuga's, her ex-husband knocks at the door, and while laying in bed, she says one of my favorite lines. Why don't you go open the door while I wipe these tears off and she's laying down. Her ex-husband's name is Class A, and he's played by the always disgusting Walt Dongo. He's a horrible actor, a horrible alcoholic, but a wonderful staple in the Giuseppe Andrews movies. You know, they take it, they open it, and then they lick the nut. <laughs> He is very rich and he loves to taunt Latuga with all his money. He tells her that yeah, I made a dildo out of one hundred dollar bills and I call it the Big Benjamin for those dinero putados. The Big Benjamin. He says, I'd make you fuck it while you suck my credit cards, bitch. He then throws a handful of money at her and leaves. It then goes back to the air conditioning guys who are reiterating their purpose in the movie and then it cuts to Walt's apartment where he is really horny and calling up different women to fuck. He then calls up Latuga. Now you better get that twat and tits over here if you want to keep it giant at air conditioning. Don't make me drag my pussy over there, okay? <laughs> I, Chapuzo and I are reading Corinthians. Just get your fucking crack over here. Or say goodbye to your nice air conditioned apartment and say hello, hot, sweaty sidewalk. Latuga goes over there and... Oh, God, Walt Dongo's naked. There was his dongo, and it's got a condom on it. His flaccid cock is wearing a condom, and he's fanning himself with the money. He says, before we do it, let's do what I like best, and he hands her a super soaker. You guys remember those water guns that you had to jack off until they'd squirt? Yeah, that's what, that's what he gives her. Now take that into the toilet room there and fill it up with your piss chat day. Oh yeah, you used to like me to piss in that water then and soak you with it. <laughs> ready, Classe? I've got it all ready so it'll shoot up real strong. Dongo grabs the gun from her hands and says, I don't get shot with other people's piss. I shoot piss on other people. And he starts spraying Latuga. No, stop, stop, stop. She says, I'm never coming back here again! And he says, You walk out that fucking door and you can kiss your air conditioning goodbye. So she starts to beg, crying, saying, Please don't take my air conditioning away! Saying that over and over again. Please don't take my air conditioning. This movie is all about what people will do for air conditioning. Please, I beg you. It's so over the top, so weird, and just great. He says, all right, fine, whatever, get the hell out of here. So she leaves. The next day, she wakes up and... She's putting the poncho on in slow motion. I can't tell you how much I love the sight of this woman wearing the poncho. It just looks so stupid and so weird, but she's very serious about wearing it. It just looks really funny. She shoots more homeless people crying, of course, and then the guy with the garbage can takes his brother to the beach. This is where Latuga sees him for the first time. And the lady sees him and she's smiling and walking up to him. This guy's name is Frisco. So they go to a nice little cafe to get to know each other. They walk in and they're like, oh, what a nice cafe. Very quaint, nice and private. Little hideout. Little socked away spot, yeah. And it's just a dirty living room. So, <laughs> it's a living room. With like TV and a computer and books and it was just a living room. But in the movie, it's a cafe. I loved it. Just like the guns in all of his movies are always toys. Well, the cafes are living rooms. As they talk, he learns that she has an air conditioner and she says that she's falling in love with him. So he proposes to her and says, let's get married. I can't believe I found you and you want to marry me today? reaching out and touching her hair. Now I cut to her apartment where they're dancing. 
This dance scene is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. The song is great, her facial expressions are wonderful, and just so weird. She's staring at him like almost crying. It's really weird. I love the way she's looking at him and the fact that she just met him 45 minutes ago and is just head over heels in love. <laughs> Back at Walt's apartment, he stumbles in through the door and looks into the mirror. He's got something on his head. I think it's a bloody tampon. It is a tampon, and this really makes him angry. A bloody tampon. He said, who would do this? Latuga. So he's going over there. And back at Latuga's, Frisco walks in with the garbage can, and he introduces his brother to Latuga. I love this woman. He says, can we both live here? And she says, yeah, of course. I mean, there's plenty of room. I'll just buy a cot. I mean, he's your family. He's my family. She says, now I have something to tell you. And she tells him about her son. He says, oh, that's fine. And they all agree to live together in this very tiny studio apartment. Uh-oh. Walt walks in very angry about the tampon and he starts yelling at everybody. Well, you did. Stuck this tampon on my head. Yes, yeah, so? <laughs> yes, yeah, so? So it was her. And he hates the fact that Latuga has moved on and found a new man. So he says to him, What do you do? Piss on your balls? Shit on your buns? You smell like a dead fucking animal, man. Having Walt Dongo tell you you stink has got to be the biggest insult in the world considering the source. I mean, can you imagine what he smells like? Not only his body and breath, but the tampon on his head? Period blood stinks, big time. Oh, the son is pulling out a knife, and he just stabbed the fiance in the neck. Walt went walking out. The next day, we see that Frisco is totally fine and laying on the couch with a little bandage on his neck. He tells Latuga that he has no hard feelings towards her son. She just walked up to him in her poncho. It looks so, so ridiculous. I just love the way she looks in it. The outfit with the purple t-shirt underneath. Anyway, some guy who looks like Jesus shows up at Walt's house and knocks on the door. He takes out a gun and points it at Walt, saying, I know you are behind the shooting of my father, who only wanted nothing more in his life than to find a very nice curb to sit on. And Walt is like, no, no, it wasn't me, it was my wife, Latuga. And the guy's like, well, fuck you anyway. And he shoots him in the head. And he pulled the trigger and Walt fell back. And next on the killer's list is Latuga. The two guys start talking about how much they hate Latuga, but they need her for her air conditioning. Well, she walks in and overhears them talking, and she is devastated. Well, this breaks her heart, and she angrily bursts into the bathroom. Pretend that you love me? Use me for my air she starts freaking out and screaming, Get the fuck out of here right now! And the guy who shot Walt is now at the apartment. And he's gonna go kill her because she killed his dad. He knocks at the door and Latuga answers it. Oh, Jesus. She opened the door and he's got the gun and she went into the bathroom where everyone is. He's pointing the gun at them. What the fuck do you want? He says, You go around killing bums and now the bum kills you and she starts to cry, making that wonderful face that she makes while she cries. <laughs> her, her cry. <laughs> he shot the husband. <laughs> oh, he shot her, and he shot the brother. He then walks over to the little closet and finds Puzo, who says, Hi, I'm Puzo. You wanna play barbecue? The guy flips a fake steak on the fake barbecue with a fake utensil, and then he leaves. Uh-oh, Puzo's gonna walk in and find the dead bodies. He discovers the bodies, and he smiles. He then walks back to his toy barbecue and takes a bite out of the plastic steak. And then... And it faded to black. Ariaza Candiaza by Andrews. So that was air conditioning. 
So what do I give air conditioning on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a five. It was great. It was so strange. So many weird parts. So many good parts. The woman who played Latuga was just amazing. She really carried the movie and made it what it was. Memorable and fantastic. It was great. If you're in the mood for a comedy that is utterly bizarre throughout, check this one out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.